Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to install Garuda Linux. Garuda Linux is a Linux operating system which is based on Arch Linux. Garuda Linux is developed by Indian developers. This is the official website for Garuda Linux. Here you can download the ESO file. Either you can download normal edition or gaming edition. Now let's see how to install Garuda Linux in VMware. You need to create new virtual machine and then mount the ISO file here. Like this, you need to choose the path of ISO file for Garuda Linux. Now you need to choose this option. This option will allow you to live boot into the OS. And then from there you can able to install the OS. From the live boot you can able to see how the OS will look like after the installation. So it is a major advantage on live boot. Some of the Linux OS will give the option for live boot and others don't. Now you can see we have booted into the live operating system. This is how it will look like after the installation. To install the Garuda Linux, we need to open this. Here you can choose your language and then click next. Choose our location. It will set the default time zone. Now click next. Here choose your keyboard layout. And now we need to configure the partitions. Either you can go automatic option or manual option. If you choose this option, it will automatically configure the partitions. Or you can try manual partitioning. I will do manual partition. So first we need to create partition table. Here choose the option you want to create MBR or GPT. I want to create MBR partition. Now click OK. Now the partition table is created. So after creating the partition table, we can able to create the partitions. Now choose this option and then click create. Here you must choose BTFRS file system. This is the default file system for Garuda Linux. BTRFS is a modern file system which is little bit advanced than EXT4 and XFS file system. So I recommend you to choose BTRFS file system. Now the first partition I want to create boot. I choose the mount point as slash boot. For the size, I will give 500 MB. Click OK. Now the boot partition is created. Now let's create second partition. Now again choose here. And then click create. This time I want to create swap partition. Choose swap. Now give the size for the swap partition. I will give 2 GB. Now click OK. Now we need to create root partition. I want to give all of the remaining sizes for root partition. You choose the mount point slash and here choose root now click ok 
now all the required partitions is created now click next here you can create your users create password for your user I will choose this option over my administrator account will also have the same password either you can create same password or different password now I choose same password now click next here is the summary for our configuration now let's start install now the installation process is started you need to wait for some time until the installation is complete I will pause the video here and then I will get back once the installation is completed now the installation is completed now click here to restart machine wait for some time until the OS boots into your desktop So after installing Gold Linux on your VMware, you don't have to install VMR tools. It will come by default by installing Gold Linux. Subscribe to my channel, Dutch Linux, to watch more tutorials. Thank you for watching.